All right, Sam, you're responsible for Jocktober. Don't disappoint. I wouldn't disappoint, and I, I feel like you put forth a challenge. You said in the first segment of today's show that all the good radio shows are coming to satellite radio. And so it's my job to find some good radio shows that are on terrestrial. Uh -huh. Oh, very good. And you have. Yes, that's right. So who do we look at today for Jocktober? Well, I wanted to start with a familiar show that we've talked about a couple times in the past. Uh, we talked about him not too long ago. By the way, Patrice, if if it's a show that you do, <laughs> yes, you can sit back <laughs> you, and you not can, say anything. You don't have to say shit <laughs> as uh, long as they don't hear your voice during this like trash they're about bro. to get. I don't think so. I, I, do you know who we're doing today? Who? No. Sam. Well, from 107.7 The Bone in San Francisco, it's Lamont and Tanelli. <laughs> ah. There they are. Yes. Oh my God. The originators of Ta Ta Tuesdays. <laughs> Fuck. Which is a good promotion. Did they do Ta Ta Tuesday? They do Ta Ta yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, motherfucker. They kind of look like fucking Bizarro, you guys. <laughs> yeah, every every radio duo does. You will never see a fucking picture, me and Ann, where one of us puts our hand the on the hand other guy's shoulder, shoulder like they're shoulder. doing. Well, these guys well, that's, Tom, that's Tom Arnold. <laughs> Tom Arnold. And uh, that's uh. And that's a douche. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Tanali. Hmm. These guys have been at it for a long time. A long time. But they're friends. They've got their arm on the shoulder. They still I, you hang can out. tell because the arm is on the shoulder there. Plus, look at Tanelli's Hawaiian shirt. He's just a casual go with you the flow guy. Any morning show where the guy wears a Hawaiian shirt he means looks, fun. Yeah. He looks like the White Shadow, a younger version of the White Shadow, right? Mm. What's What was it, that guy's name? Oh, you're, you're not talking? The younger version. Nah, he doesn't know these guys, right? Of the White Shadow. Remember the show? The oh, White... right. Ken Howard. He looks a little Ken Howard-ish. Which one? Oh, forget it. Tom Arnold one? If you're saying which one, then, you know what, then I'm way off. Yeah, that's the Tom, that's, that's Tom Arnold skipper face. How about Tom Arnold <laughs> fucking... Tom Arnold skipper face. <laughs> you, don't see, you don't see Ken Howard in there. Old Ken Howard? No. I might, you know, old. a little bit, because I just saw a curb with old Ken Howard in it. Oh, did you? And he looks, and he looks, he's looking like an old Ken Howard. Lamont. Lamont. Yeah. <laughs> right. You big dummy. <laughs> so Lamont, we start off October with uh, Lamont and Tanelli, and there. This is well. The first clip is there. Uh, that this is what they start the show with every day. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can read on the track list what the segment's called. Uh, it's called Lick Me Wall. It's the Lick Me Wall. What? That's what right. That? There you it's come, where uh, callers call in to just talk about whatever they want. Oh, God. Lick me wall. Who's this? <laughs> what does lick me wall mean? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Lick me wall. I'm Who's not, this? What is that based on? I'm not 100% positive about what it actually means. They don't uh, explain it anywhere. But basically, it's just like, you know, you're putting it up on the wall. It's whatever anybody wants to talk about. Kind of get your feelings out. Maybe, hopefully, fingers crossed, get a nice little joke out there. Hey, you know, I'm sure. Lick me wall. Who's this? Uh, Confucius. Confucius. How are you, Confucius? Uh, very well. Getting All to be right. a daily occurrence with uh, well, Confucius. Well, you know what? When you've got, when you have, when yeah, you yeah, have yeah. the philosophy of Confucius, <laughs> I mean, it's just brimming over. You got to share it with somebody. Yep. What's going on, Confucius? What what advice? What wisdom do you have for us today? A dumb man climbs tree to get cherry. A white man spreads limbs. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, Thank you. you. Maybe you pick uh, fruit for a living. Yeah, that, that's good to well, know. I'll always go for the low hanging fruit. It's a little bit easier to pick. What happened? Well, they made a. Did uh, they get knocked off the air or something? No, it's a sexual innuendo. Oh. You get it. Spread the No, I really didn't. Well. It was awful. Oh. Patrice, are you just annoyed? And the uh, voice was fantastic. <laughs> we well, heard the uh, radio voice again. <clears throat> another show with the radio voice guy. You heard uh, them laughing after it. So I guess it yeah. had to be funny. Right. Must have been. And Sully was laughing. Sully is their little uh, black sidekick. What? That's right. They got sticks working on that show? <laughs> Ew. All right. And, uh, you, you didn't like that. I thought... Because this is kind of an edgy show. I don't know what I just heard. Well, it's, what, is, what does lick me wall mean? Oh, you're still stuck on that. at least explain what that means? It's when you call up the show. It makes it a lot easier wall. for the listeners to play along at home if they know what 
know what it means. Look at them all touching each other. Lamont Tonelli with Sully. There's too much the black touching guy, and they're all leaning and touching. The black guy looks like he's getting beat up by the two. <laughs> Looks like a fucking hate crime. <laughs> and the black guy, let's be honest, looks a oh, little. Fuck. He looks a little. The black guy looks a little funny too. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Now, motherfuckers ask me why I don't smile in pictures. What? If I'm ever with, it, that's what it'll look like. If I'm with a white guy smiling in a fucking picture, man. Yeah. He just looks like oh, yes, yeah, yes, sir. He looks yeah. like yes, sir, yes, sir. Just oh, bossing them around, damn. just tickling that little, their little pet nigga. <laughs> yeah. Funny is. In person. I'm fucking disgusted. Oh, shit. Well, because that's why I'm so mad all in the time. Person. This is what we look like when we're happy. Yeah. You gotta be angry. <clears throat> you gotta it? put on angry face. What does the black do for the show, Sam? He's Ooh. just, uh, he's laughing. He's, okay, guys. <laughs> but what does he do? He's psychic. That's all he does is laugh? He's yeah, just, he doesn't. He just throws some lines in every so often. And so on the website, he throws up some of his favorite jokes. Oh, okay, so, that's cool. People are saying "Lick Me Wall" sounds like Ichiban, which is a brilliant bit by uh, Ronnie there. Ah. Yeah, but Ichiban Ichiban means number one in what ja Japan or something? Yeah, Japanese. I don't know what it means. But they've never had anything as funny as the Confucius. Confucius, you know the philosopher. Well, who, right. Who's Mister Mihoff? Mister Mihoff. Oh, he's probably... Don't, 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 don't spoil it! Uh, 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 <laughs> don't spoil it. Okay, okay. Uh, we continue with Jocktober, and uh, we look at Lamont and Tonelli Oh, today. boy. Don't spoil it. You're on the air, Lamont and Tonelli Show. The Bay Area's up in form. The Lickney Wall. Who's this? You got Mr. Me up here. How you boys doing this morning? Doing great. You know, it's always a treat for me to talk to uh, Mr. Meoff. Uh, he, he's been a regular caller mm -hmm. to the show, and I'm really embarrassed that I, I, I'm just horrible at names. Man, you got a lousy memory. What is your first name again? Jack. That's what I thought. Yes, all right. <laughs> Get it? Jack, Jack me off. <laughs> Patrice is reading the paper, and I don't blame him. Well, I wouldn't either. How no. long have they been doing radio? These guys are and great. They, man. Right. <laughs> Fantastic. And they did a Jack me off joke? Jack, Jack me off. off. You thought it was just a guy whose last name was Mehoff. It's Mr. Mehoff, and, uh, Mr. you know, we love him. He calls a lot. Uh, but I'm, I'm bad with names. What's your first name? Bob. Well, oh. I should have just ruined it. Bob. <laughs> Was Bob, it, me, what? Was oh. there was there a time when we did silly fucking names and did a little bit with it? Yeah, yeah. But in, it was probably a whole. It was probably first our first name. It was probably our first week of radio. Yeah. There's well, still yeah. jack me off fucking jokes this, this late thing. in their career. It's like you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. <laughs> As radio show hosts, you and Anthony have evolved to the pristine level that you're at now. Well, Thank shouldn't you, they have as well? You would think they've been at it forty years. No, Lamont and Tonelli are still kind of, they went, they started in a position, and then they just sat there for many years. Does Mr. Hunt call in <laughs> at all? What would be Mr. Hunt's name? Um, I don't remember. I'm not good with first names, I, but I, oh, oh, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Hunt, get it? Oh, you can't say that. Well. Could say Jack Mehoff. Mehoff. I'm I'm filing an FCC complaint. Yeah, I would too. You're not allowed to do that anymore, radio. Complete a double lack of en entertainment on the air. <laughs> complaint. Yep. What does the black do during this? He's just laughing. He's just having he a great time. Laughing. Was he in the middle of that laughing? Yeah, just laughing at his white friends. Oh, Bob, you done, <laughs> yeah. done, done, done a good job with the Jack Mehoff joke. <laughs> Lamont and Tonelli, as we continue with Jocktober, uh, yeah. promo featuring a poorly acted, very fake prank phone call. Well, it's a prank this phone call. This is what call. I love about Jocktober. We get to tear down all the fucking walls. Uh, Regular radio is uh -huh. not allowed to do prank po uh, prank prank calls anymore. So if you're listening to regular radio, you hear a prank call, it's all fake. What? That is a major, oh, FC what? That's a major FCC complaint yes. now. Major. Yep. But I hear all these shows... With these hilarious prank calls, and they get the guy. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> what they do is they walk around the radio station. Yeah. In most cases, and they get a sales girl, a sales guy, the fucking janitor, whatever. Mm -hmm. And they work out these prank calls and make believe they're real. You know how I know that's not the case with this? Because they call Chuck E. Cheese. There's no Chuck E. Cheese at the radio station. <clears throat> oh, really? okay. You're so, right. You're right. Then why did you write uh, poorly acted, Sam? I didn't write that. <laughs> I, don't know where you're getting, I don't know where you're getting this from. Sam from. takes October very seriously. Thank he you. only is calls it, the best of the best. Is it bad? It's not good. <laughs> 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 Lamont and Tonelli in the morning. Chuck E. Cheese, it's only gonna help you. I'm Ralph. Well, hi, Ralph. <laughs> I'm special. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm I'm sure you are. Um, 
What can I do for you today? Will you cook my dinner for me? <laughs> of course. Of course. I'll my do parents my... aren't around and I'm not allowed to turn on the stove. <laughs> well, that that makes sense. That makes sense. Do you want to come to Chuck E. Cheese? My what? parents won't let me use scissors. <laughs> well, that's great. Do, uh... By the way, another thing. Holy As we tear fuck. down another wall. <laughs> Yeah. These radio guys love doing this to to make something sound better than it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They pound. They pound. Listen for the for the fucking regular radio guy pounding. Happens all the time. Yeah. Like, like, like they can't control themselves because what's going on on their show is so good. They yeah. got to just pound. pound. I can't believe this guy from Chuck E. Cheese doesn't know it's a Ralph from the Simpsons soundboard. It's amazing. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's such an obscure reference. It really is. Ralph yeah. from w Ralph Wiggum. Yeah. Ralph Wiggum. <laughs> yeah. Is calling Chuck E. Cheese. It's outrageous. It is. Listen for the pound. Just won't let me use scissors. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Do uh, did you want to order a pizza? I could. That would be dinner. I went in a <laughs> bathrobe and I'm not even sick. <laughs> 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 he just hung up. That just makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> He's like, what the hell is this? Lamont and Tonelli on the bone. That's <laughs> another Simpsons clip. Of course it is. It fits perfectly. <laughs> but that's like, you know, when you put a promo out there, you kind of put the very best stuff of the show that's right. going to make a listener say, I got to catch those guys in the morning. But it doesn't make sense if you the know. guy was enjoying the whole thing and laughing along and then he just hangs up. What? Hmm? How about having some continuity with your fake bit? No. With your fake bit? <laughs> you don't think it was a real fake bit? Oh, the gosh, guy goes from no. enjoying what's going on and then just hangs up. Maybe he had to go do something. <laughs> wow. That there was... are some holes, I guess, in the <laughs> logic behind it. That was incredibly bad. What was the black guy doing during that? He was probably just laughing, having a good time. His white <laughs> oh, friends made him pray for him. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> yeah. Patrice has left the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I could. <laughs> I understand, Patrice. Patrice has nothing to do with his Jacktober today. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> let Me In got five stars, by the way. What's Let Me In? The little girl vampire movie. Yeah, oh, really? And that's the chick from Kick Ass. No, the little no. girl from Kick Ass. Oh, that's her her next movie. Yeah. yeah. No, it's weird. I was thinking the other day. There's just not enough vampire movies out there. Yeah. <laughs> or, or three D movies. <laughs> well, I'm so glad they're making vampire movies because I was thinking, you know, we need a lot. A couple more. Yeah, we need vampire movies. Mm. Some TV shows too. Uh, Lamont and Tonelli featured uh, on this fine October 1st. Yeah. First day. It's a whole month. Lamont and Tonelli bring up the Lady Gaga meat dress story, even though it's a week and a half old, so they can play a bad bit. <laughs> oh, no. What are you talking about here? Huh? Well, you know, sometimes conversations, they sound a little forced uh -huh. because somebody has a bit that they want to play and they need to, they need to squeeze it in. And Lamont and Tinelli, uh, Lamont and Tinelli like their bits. Yeah. So for the rest of uh, Lamont and Tinelli, we'll be uh, focusing on that aspect. We've heard the prank phone calls. We've heard the lick me wall. Now, what do they fill the rest of their mornings with? Bad bits. Song uh, parodies. Yeah, they like their song parodies. That they got from somewhere else, or do they at least make their own? Some of them are made. Is this some from of, Prep Burger? This one, oh. I am pretty sure is a Prep Burger bit. It sounds like You're, a Prep Burger. Some of them are. So they don't have anything to do with this bad bit? Not this one. Some of them Not only made. is it a bad bit, they have nothing to do with it. Like they found it and said, somebody else made this. This is so good, I'm going to play it and take credit for it. But they needed a way to get there, so they bring up an old story. Even though it's a week and a half old. Got it! And okay. I know we talked about this last week when you brought up the story about Lady Gaga and that meat dress yeah, the she meat was dress. wearing. Yep, she was yeah. wearing it at the uh, Grammy Awards. So apparently now uh, this Awards. dress was such a fashion statement. Well, I guess it was the <laughs> Emmy Awards, yeah. Uh, yeah. Neither. This dress of uh, meat that she wore, there were different cuts of meat that covered up her body. But this, well, this gal is just a whack <laughs> job, isn't she? Wish she had her money, though. There's a little rump roast out there. I don't there, know what kind of statement she was trying to make. A little but... roast beef, a little filet, a little skirt steak. 
<laughs> Strange, I didn't see any skirt steak uh, listed here, but I definitely saw some some beef curtains. <laughs> <laughs> Different kind of beef. Wow. Wow, they went with beef curtains. That's, beef curtains. That's edgy. You're Sully Watch laughing out. in the back. Oh, I know. Who's that? That's crazy. <laughs> that's the black guy. Sully, oh, just laughing. And they're talking black. Just laughing, and his white boss is making jokes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, it's a shame. God. I'm going to start uh, doing that. I need a job, nigga. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. Starting the rest yeah, of the show, I'm like, fucking, I am be You want to be token black? I'm token black, guys. Chase is like, playing the part yeah. of token black today. Beef curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Different kind of beef. So anyway, this dress that she was One wearing. One skirt steak is another man's beef curtain. It's just <laughs> semantics. Don't let it go. <laughs> um, no. So this uh, beef uh, dress she was wearing was such a fashion statement mm -hmm. that now they're going to make her dress into beef jerky That's to right. preserve it. Well, they want to preserve it. It's not going to be eaten. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, oh, it's not going to be eaten. Gonna be eaten. Oh, okay. They're just going to preserve it. The only way to preserve it is to kind of turn it into jerky. Because I was going to say. just keep it the way it was. Hell, if you... Uh, <laughs> went bad and went down and had that jerky. Just like, there's something wrong with this piece of meat. Where this meat come from? <laughs> and this has so turned into like laughing. a big... You know, there's always endorsement opportunities. I mean, you got to hand it to her business manager. Because she was wearing this meat oh. dress. Now they're turning it into jerky. She's a PR machine. Oh, absolutely. And now it's turned into like an endorsement from the Beef Council. If you're looking for a dress... <laughs> every oh. Here comes the bit. And then they go right into a bit. <laughs> Well, there was nothing in the paper that day. <laughs> no. So they had to go with an old story to get to their bit that it, someone else wrote for them? It took like a minute and a half to oh build up God. of them saying, ah, this dress tastes Ooh. funny. Wouldn't uh, you uh, uh, have more respect for the guys if they said, look, you know, we really like this bit. We have no real reason to play it today, that, but we think it's kind of funny, so here you go. Well, part of Lamont... Instead of like, they're like weaving in and out, getting to that point. Part of Lamont and Tonelli's humor is that they never acknowledge that something is like a, just a bit or it's a prank thing. Uh -huh. They go, oh, here's a commercial. And then everyone starts listening. Oh, it's a commercial. Oh, that's not a commercial. Oh, no. Come on, guys. They, but it is funny. They got me again. But you got to give it to them. It is funny. You do, huh? Oh, absolutely, and now it's turned into like an endorsement from the Beef Council. If you're looking for a dress everyone will go gaga over, try beef. Yep, from a mini skirt steak to a sexy New York strip strapless stunner, <coughs> beef serves up something special. So whether it's sizzling on the red carpet or sizzling on a red hot grill, beef makes it beautiful. Beef, it's what she's wearing. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You can actually see those commercials. <laughs> <laughs> Rump roast. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I, I've had it. She <laughs> 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 was just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Token black. You like that? <laughs> he wanted to say wow. rump roast so bad. <laughs> he just said it. He, he didn't just said it. Oh. He just blurted it out. I guess he felt good about his meat oh. curtain line, so he had to get the, the rump, rump roast, roast line. He probably thought of that while oh. the bit was on, like, oh, I didn't use it. Oh. Sneak it in after the bit. <laughs> uh, we got Jimmy James who's going to explain the lick me wall. Good. Uh, JJ. Oh, good morning, boys. What's uh, up, JJ? The, uh, yeah, the uh, lick me wall. It's kind of like, if you haven't heard this little thing called the FU line, can we just cancel this guy's XM subscription? <laughs> It is another, it does sound a lot like the F.U. line. Oh, what, you're getting a little, uh, you just vent? Is that what it is? That's yeah. About? But it, they're all fake callers, it seems. Like. No, but what does lick me wall mean? Yeah, why well, call it lick me wall? Because you guys have F.U. line and there's dirty words in that. Oh, so it's like, it's like, hey, lick me. Lick me. And here's the wall. So it's like, <laughs> oh. It's like you get to post up on yeah. the wall, like graffiti almost. It's your ideas on the wall, but it's like, instead of fuck you, it's, hey, lick me. It's yeah. more like, ah, lick me. Yeah, you don't yeah, like yeah. it? What is, lick me. Wouldn't a better bit be the punch wall? Don't. They might because you got some anger, you got some shit you gotta fucking get out. Wow. Yeah, well, lick me is pretty good. Lick, lick good. me, lick me is. You're going, All right, that's Ken, like you're telling someone lick me. Whoa, Ken in Pennsylvania, Ken. Hey, how you doing? The lick me wall, I believe, is for Willy Wonka. No, that was lickable wallpaper. I mean, that was a wall that people lick. Oh my right, God! But but oh, you poor man. Uh, they don't know what they're going to get when they lick it. You, no, you lick the sir. Fruit. Are stupid. 
There's nothing random about it. The apples tasted like apples. The schnozberries tasted like right. schnozberries. What are you talking about? It was lickable wallpaper, not lick me wall. It's a totally different thing. What are you talking about? Thank you for being the first asshole caller of our new deal. <laughs> well, mine and Nelly don't treat their callers like this. No. Really? Well, how many how many Facebook, I mean, uh, uh, Twitter followers do you have? I don't know. Because Lamont and Tonelli, if you want to, if you're thinking about the audience, Ooh. they have <laughs> over 3,000 Facebook friends. Wow. Fuckers. So be careful, guys. They may uh, have an army out there. Matt in Jersey. Matt. Yeah. Yeah, Matt. What's up, guys? Am I on? Yes, you're on. I'm sorry, Anthony. You're the best. Thank Hopefully you. I love you, too. But i got to tell you, this bit is terrible with Jack Over. All right, then go. Year, come on, man. Then go listen to something no. else. That's your no, choice. I love you guys. I don't want to. Oh, so we should, I, we should we should not do Jocktober because you don't please, like it. Please don't. You this wanna, is a no. benchmark bit. You want to you want to take a poll and see how many fucking people like Jocktober? Go somewhere else. That's your choice. Opie, I don't want to go anywhere else. I love you guys. All right, come so on. we'll we'll change the whole sh the whole show for you, Matt. Uh, something new, man. Something new. Yeah, you it is new. It's month. new. We, we haven't do done it in a year. We do it once a year. I don't know. Talk about the news. Oh, well, you know what? You might Talk have to. Talk about the news. You, you might have to take October off, though, sir. Yeah. Don't listen! I wish I. You listen. fuck. You're if, blocked. If there is any question as to the popularity of Jocktober, all I did was tweet an email address of where you can send suggestions in. Right. Wasn't even mentioned on the air. Yes. One tweet. Dozens and dozens of. Uh, See? Of, of requests. Wow, you really wanting. made your point there, Sam. Dozens and dozons of people. But it's wow. me tweeting it. Opie. <laughs> what is this, a podcast? If you tweeted it, <laughs> we're talking hundreds of thousands. It's just lowly Sam Roberts. Right. It, right. I mean, dozens and dozens thousands. of interest, though. But when I get the dozens, that's crazy. Tens of you know, people. Now, tens of people. Now I might have to agree with Matt. I didn't know dozens and dozens of dozens people and dozens. were into this. Uh, Could be hundreds. They bring up the Segway owner story that we talked about a week ago. Yes. Well, why what is this audio from yesterday? This is yeah, yesterday's show. Wow. So the Segway story is already old. Very old. It's a week old. Yeah. So they bring up the Segway owner story that we talked about a week ago because they have a bad bit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's their, so that's their thing. <laughs> yes. They hear they got to get themselves to the bad bit. Right. Instead that's of it. just playing the bit. Like it's literally. Like, remember that Segway story? Well, uh, this is kind of funny, so we're gonna play it. Right. No. Boom. They have to weave in and out and, and get to the wow. bad bit. The entire show is forced conversations that lead to bits. Yeah. Like, they just force conversations so they could play a bit. It's clever. <laughs> it's clever. you got to give it to them. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this guy was 62 years old, was riding the Segway around his estate. Yeah. And uh, went off a ledge and into a river. That is incredible. Just the uh, gyroscope. Wow, oh, who, who just added uh, oh, some great shit. commentary right there? That sounds like <laughs> Tinelli. That is incredible. Well, I think everyone would think it's incredible, of course. It's tough to make everything funny. It really is. It, it, and interesting, even if, hey, you just rolled off the segways. Yeah. What was the black guy doing there? that? Super booty. Just waiting for his bosses to make him laugh. Did he have to run and get coffee for them or anything? Maybe. Did he have to go fetch some stuff in between laughing? Into a river. That is incredible. I guess the uh, gyroscope wasn't working. <laughs> you think? I there think so, is. yeah. So do we, uh, I believe, we are going... Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. Kind of a tight... Oh, you know, my you, 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 God. You, you, what I love about Patrice, he was trying to stay out. Uh, you can't help uh, yourself. Uh, <laughs> this is... This is uh, <laughs> You know, when you're dealing with, like, funny your whole life and you just know different techniques on mm -hmm. how to funny. try to make things funny, Yeah, that te was technique number 4006, which was, all right, we have nothing. <laughs> I'm going to pray that this sparks up something. Some oh, yeah, 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 right, the gyroscope. And it, he's like, maybe that'll get everybody going. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you, oh, shit. <laughs> one, one of the guys went like, <laughs> yeah, gyroscope. Gyro. Yeah. Reminds me of uh, Greek food. Yes, the gyro. <laughs> Maybe that's why he went off the cliff. He had a little too much <laughs> You think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, every morning. This is Holy painful. shit. This River. Is that is incredible. I guess the uh, gyroscope wasn't working. 
<laughs> you think? I think so, yeah. So do we, uh, I believe, we are going, uh, it's kind of a touching ceremony they're having for this. This guy's a multimillionaire. Well, I know there's a uh, a huge time difference mm-hmm. between here and Germany. Yeah. Where I think the funeral is scheduled for today. And we uh, we are going live. I think they've got oh. a musical tribute to this man who owned the... Uh, Part of the uh, only Segway company. Part of the memorial here. Yeah, we're going live wow. as we speak. We have really? the. Oh, why God. would you do that? You know it's coming. They're going live. To... They got a bit. This is hokey. I don't want to excite you guys, but this bit. Did they come up with this bit at least, or is it another prep burger bit? I'm not positive. What a fanny. But I will say that this is a song parody. I know you guys love the here song parodies. You like oh, song parodies? Boy. Oh fucking boy. Hmm? Memorial here. Yeah, we're going live as wow. we speak. We have the satellite set up on the roof, Sully. Here we go. All right. Oh my goodness! Musical tribute. We get it <laughs> to the guy who died. You know the Segway company. Segway exactly. to have popular funeral story. Segway to have oh, yeah. here it comes. <laughs> no. There's a rich guy who's dead, found in the river bed, and he's riding his Segway. <laughs> On a winding cliff road oh, sure. Where he lost all control With his flat he defined the word irony <laughs> <laughs> Segway to heaven. <laughs> oh, there wasn't a dry eye in the house of that <laughs> part. Not. Yeah. <laughs> they got a big time music budget. I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's, everything's boom boom. If they music. made it, that might be a prep burger bit. Yeah. Right? A lot of these guys just fucking you know buy bits. It's Stairway to Heaven is the original. But, but the, it was a two. Yeah. They yeah. came up with two om- almost clever lines. Almost, almost shoehorned two, in, and two very obvious lines, I guess. Yeah, yeah. were almost clever. <laughs> two lines, and then, that and would, then the song ends. Right, it's two lines that would substitute where clever lines would go in. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, moving, right. moving uh, through the first day of October. They Lamont talk, and Tonelli. Yeah, Lamont and Tonelli out there in uh, the Bay right. Area. Uh, they talk about Sarah Palin, Palin getting booed on Dancing with the Stars. They have a bit. <laughs> yes, they do. They have a bit. <laughs> yes, wow. So is that their format? Yeah, this is one day. One day. This whole thing is uh, one show. These fuckers are prep burgering their asses off. Yeah. We need the help of the rest of the country. Are you hearing these song parodies and these bad bits oh, yeah, in your market? Yeah, other markets. Because it looks like they just prep burger, man. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like they're cheering. Sounds like they're cheering to me. Yeah. So why do the cheers turn to booze there? That's what I can't figure out. Those are pretty good scores. Yeah, out of the eight, eight. Why would they be booing the exactly. judges? Exactly. I don't know. I don't know if that's proof. So they're saying yeah. it's it's there. Well, you know what? There's we have little... Sarah Palin here. Oh, we do. Reacting to this uh, rumor that uh, she was uh, booed <laughs> on Ameri- on uh, America, not America's Got Talent, yeah, Dancing with the Stars. Dancing with the Stars. Hey, Sarah. Sarah. What? What are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing? What, what's been going this on? Time. What are they doing? It's uncomfortable. I don't get this. Well, they're they also, awkwardly trying to get... And they got those nice rock beds. beds under them while they talk. They're trying so oh, hard to that. get to the bit. Right, that's what I mean. You had that. I lost that battle. I'm like, we don't need fucking rock music behind us while we talk. Well, technically, you won the battle because you don't have it anymore. Well, we had to fucking leave the station. Like, they yeah. are still, still doing it that way up right. there. Right. They're still doing it. You That's so they They've been say, in this business a long time. That's um, so they can say the rock stops twice an hour, uh, only stops twice an hour. Yeah. So because when you're talking and there's rock music behind you, they consider that you're still right. rocking. This is the number one station for rock in San Francisco. Uh, well, terrific. They told me. Uh, Sam, I don't know if this is good. Someone just punched their radio. <laughs> oh, don't do that. It's just Lamont and Tonelli. 
If you don't like Lamont and Tinelli, you could call their lick 'em wall or lick me wall or whatever. Lick it is. me wall, yes. I, I like the seamless transition from talking about Sarah Palin into the bed. It's amazing. That's how you know the, the conversation to this uh, rumor that uh, she was uh, booed on Ameri- on uh, Ameri- not America's Got Talent, yeah, Dancing with the Stars, Dancing with the Stars. Hey Sarah, Sarah Palin. So uh, people are still talking about how you were booed on Dancing with the Stars the other night. How do you feel about that? Well, I don't think that they were. Whoa. Um, yeah, anyway, I don't think they were booing me. Boo! Boo! <laughs> what are you doing? I, I, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's just something that naturally happens. For some reason, I can't control the urge to boo everything you say. Uh, maybe it's because subconsciously I know that everything you say is ridiculous and your mere existence is making the political landscape and the world as a whole a worse place. But I just... Uh, boo! What? I'm sorry. I tend to boo the harsh truth. <laughs> there a whole bunch of boos going on there. <laughs> Boo! Yeah, exactly. At least yeah. you boo yourself. That's good. Wow! <laughs> oh my God. I am. <laughs> yes. Wow! You know, what I realize about radio. It's if you stinks. don't talk, it makes you more tired. Like so, if you're sitting there listening to this horse shit, right? You I'm just like, get I'm fucking losing my skull yeah. right now. Yeah, you need a nap, right? We're almost done, uh, Patrice. No, you don't have to rush. Oh, we I don't just, believe oh, we, we have do. to rush. <laughs> you know, it's just it's enjoyable, but it's just like it's easy listening. Uh, <laughs> easy listening. If I, if I was <laughs> if I was driving, I'd be dead. <laughs> oh, no please. doubt about it. Let me say hi to uh, Vinny in uh, Whitehall. Vinny. Good morning, boys. Hey. Congratulations. Uh, did anybody else catch their attempt to make the segue bit slightly more legitimate by explaining that the funeral was taking place in Germany? This would explain the time difference. <laughs> the funeral just in the that's the that's uh, the funny right there. Oh yeah, they yeah, they know. I didn't even pick up on that. It's <laughs> very good. Because then people, I'm sure everybody's thinking. Oh, we're going to hear the funeral. Mm-hmm. Then they realize it's a bit. That's funny. <laughs> they got me again. All right. oh, I, thought, guys. I thought they were going live to the funeral because of the time difference. Oh, boy. Good job, brother. Case. Let Real me say hi to Jared in Jersey. Jared. Good evening. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? Uh, I didn't know whether to cry or to just crash my car right into the dish. That thing was horrible. The segue to heaven. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You know what's sad? I, I'm hearing that these guys are number one, too, oh, out there. God. No, are they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I know I go to San Francisco happen? all the time, man. I've never been on a show. Yeah. I've never had you on. How does that I already got Sully. Yeah, they already got one black. Yeah, but I'm not fucking there. <laughs> I'm just there to promote my shit. Not fucking. <laughs> not, not do silent movies or try to <laughs> run from ghosts on fucking. Run from ghosts on Avenue Costello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Mount Sinai. Anthony's uh, on the line. Ooh. Anthony. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd like to leave a message on the Lick Me Wall. Oh, I'd go like ahead. Oh, I'd like to tell that other guy who said Jocktober is not funny, lick me. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. wow. And, and Do you have a funny you, name? <laughs> if, you call, if you called it the punch wall, then I would have to say at the end, punch me. Yeah, exactly. Oh, right. Instead of, and they're uh, out of San Francisco, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. No, no wonder they're calling it the lick me wall. <laughs> oh, see, see, station's Yay. called the bone. It's the bone. bone. Lick me, the bone. Lick the bone. Very good. We get it. Lick my pole. <laughs> yes. Bam, 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 bam. Wow. Uh, Lamont and Tinelli, we're almost done. Patrice, hang in there. Holy fuck, balls. <laughs> hang in there. I know. Did you fucking turn that air conditioner down? I you swear bet. to God, I'm in a glacier. This is uh, this is the reaction we're hoping for. Are you by saying me fucking? <laughs> no, there's not a... osteoporosis, nigga. <laughs> it's fucking hot. It's blowing right the fuck on me. There's old lady limbs over here. <laughs> nah, I fuck, swear. Are you serious? Fucking, I... Come on, man. You can't take that. If you sat here. You, you, it's fucking crazy. All right, uh, maybe it's me. I swear, it's crazy. Uh, it's blood pressure. <laughs> Jacktober continues with Lamont and Tonelli. They force a conversation about Morgan Freeman's Science Channel show. Guess why? Why uh, would you force that conversation? <laughs> oh, can I guess? Yes, you may. Another bit? Yes, they, they have a got bit. a bit they about a Morgan bit. Freeman's Science Channel show. Which they probably got from Prep Burger. I would assume so. Or one of the services yeah. that is similar to that. And the moon. Do, do the average listeners, I, I know our listeners know now, 
And a lot of these guys don't even do their own material. They just buy Listen, it from a no fucking service. No one works this hard. They still think that <laughs> callers are live. Yeah. Right. Most of the time, the callers aren't they even are live. Of course not. <laughs> and why watch Dancing with the Stars anyway? Yeah. I mean, watch something educational. Have you ever seen that uh, Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman? <laughs> what the fuck? That's right. Literally, the They're... bit that we just heard with Sarah Palin. Right. Goes, that forced conversation is transitioned into this forced conversation. But I love right. the segue. It's perfect. You don't you don't even know that they're changing subjects. Oh, I know. It's, it's <laughs> that's, seamless. That's like his talent, by and, the way. The and if you notice, if you notice, they uh, are setting up for a bit, so they know they have the bit. Yeah. And they so they know everything. But the guy's got to say, "Hey, watch that show." Uh, and he said, "Like, uh, what? It, like, he's trying to think of yeah, it. Yeah. That uh, through the wormhole. Yeah, that's it. That's it." He knows what the fucking show is. Even though they know the bit is ready to go. Yeah, because the yeah. bit's ready to roll. And they're a machine ready to roll. Yeah, they downloaded it already, so they it's, know it's uh, ready the, to go. Um, the, uh, ah, through the wormhole. That's uh, the one. I don't know. <laughs> when I listen to radio, I want to just listen to, you know, people talk. Yeah. Without all this horse shit. It's, it's set up, bit. Yeah, it's set up. Bit. Yes. Set up bit. That's their show. This is great. <laughs> hey, why watch Dancing with the Stars anyway? Yeah. I mean, watch something educational. Have you ever seen that uh, Through the Wormhole uh, of Morgan Freeman on the oh, Science Channel? Oh, hey, let me tell you this. You yeah, know I love like those shows. It's a space documentary. I love those yeah, shows. You should be watching something like that. Dancing with the Science Stars is channel, like... Science Channel and Discovery Channel. Metal chewing gum, those entertainment shows. Tell you what. That's uh, something that you're going to get something out of. Although I will tell you this. I was uh, The last time I saw a promo for that show... Mm. I was wondering what kind of wormhole Morgan uh, Freeman was talking why do you, about. Why do you say that? I haven't well, seen he, the promos. There, have you, here's the promo for that wormhole show oh. with uh, Morgan Freeman. The universe is endless, and uh, deepest wonders can be reached. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing Token Black or Patrice O'Neal? I'm actually laughing at that damn Morgan Freeman. This motherfucker can't stop dictating fucking any. He fucking he's the king of them. What's he, what's he doing? He's, he's uh, what's the guy that we're looking for? Fucking he won't stop doing that. Well, I'll, I'll do uh, uh, then he went over to Pluto and then on to Uranus. In the outskirts universe. And listen to and uh, deep as wonders can be reached through an entry point called a wormhole. When penetrating her canal into inner space, uh, scientists it. must think outside the box to plant the space seed for future generations. <laughs> to help, I got... Is this a fuck bit? I, uh, yeah, I think yeah. Yeah. double entendre fuck bit wormhole. Yeah, Why don't they go with the Would black hole? Fuck, fuck they, hole. Uh, wormhole. Fucking Morgan is funny enough without <laughs> it, like he's just yeah, funny. If you just play it, oh, what, wouldn't the bit be the black hole wormhole? Got to keep it safe. Yeah, Got to keep. I mean, no. black hole is plus they don't want to offend Sully. He's the black. <laughs> they want to keep him laughing. Future generations <laughs> to help. I got my worm and headed into every hole in the galaxy, going in and out of every star in the night. I penetrated the wormhole into Andromeda, Venus, and even poked my head into Orion in the spot just below his belt. Just a tip. And when we return, I'll show you how much pleasure you can find in a wormhole. With nothing but your naked eye, I'm Morgan Freeman, going through the wormhole with my Morgan organ. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we got to get that in there. I was, was wondering how we were going to get that in. <laughs> Morgan's just funny. Oh, my God. He's funny without any help when he's just narrating his horse shit. Sam, <laughs> his horse shit. I think that was a bit forced. What yeah, was? yeah. The Morgan Freeman thing? I the double get entendre it. fuck yeah, bit. We kind of got it right away. The wormhole. You, you hear the part about Orion's belt? Right under the belt. That's yeah, the crotch. Yeah. yeah, or asshole. Is that or the asshole. kicking balls or is it the uh, the pussy? Who was Orion. fucking who? who was fucking what? Malls. Look at these idiots. <laughs> was Why would you drive your car into a... <laughs> That's why I love my SUV. What's wrong with people? I drive right through that shit. I know there's a lot of water out there, but why would you just drive into water? Are they made for shit like that, SUVs? Oh, yeah. To a point. I, I, drove, I drove through something nasty this morning. This morning, I was going through fucking lakes. 
It's great. Yeah, they're just showing on the news because we were getting some real nasty weather here in New York, uh, some flooded roads, and people like in a Prius trying to drive through a five-foot-deep fucking uh, puddle. A puddle. <laughs> and a puddle. Does this mean we have a bit coming up about Priuses? I'd like to tell you that Prius made it through the puddle, but <laughs> things like that don't happen in real life. Okay. Guy, oh. This guy wants to say hi real fast. His name is uh, Mr. Mr. McCracken. Oh, oh great. Hey, uh, Mr. Hi. McCracken, Hello. how Mr. are you, McCracken? sir? Welcome Hello. to the Open Hello. Anthony Show. Hello, Mr. McCracken. McCracken. Oh, yeah, this is Mr. McCracken. I love uh, when you call up Mr. McCracken, but you know, I just, <laughs> my memory for names, I, <laughs> what, what's your first name? Norman. <laughs> Norman McCracken? <laughs> oh, I no. got nothing. But you know. <laughs> That's perfect. I wish everybody would call what? their show and do that. Look. Norman McCracken. <laughs> uh, Norman oh. McCracken. Well, Norman McCracken. Norman McCracken. Had now I nothing. just wanted. <laughs> the October Day One continues with uh, a look at Lamont. Holy ass finale. fuck! It stop. We're almost there. We're almost there, Patrice. Holy Hang in there. ass fuck! We're almost there. Holy We're almost shit! There. And holy balls, dick! <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking fuck! This is the reaction we're looking for, by the way. For the record, yeah. I didn't. Fuck. I didn't even listen <laughs> yeah. to the last hour or so of their show. Why? So this uh, is literally. They just go bit, bit, bit. Bit music commercials. Bit, 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 Ow. bit music commercials. When do they talk to each other, by the way? They, this is it. Oh, they finally talk to each other? No, no, no. Well, they've been talking to each other. No, oh, not oh, really. Up bit. Not, <laughs> bit. Not, yeah, not really. Uh, time to talk about movies. Oh, yeah. Opening up this right. weekend. Pop culture. Gotta let nice. everybody know what movies are opening this weekend. Sure, sure you do, certainly. Why yes. are we playing this? Yes. That seems like a normal thing to do so, with the radio show. Social Network got four stars by yeah. everybody. Really? Yeah, that movie's going to be huge. It's supposed to be big really? time. Oh, like, yeah. This yeah. conversation sounds interesting and everything. Oh, sorry, sorry. But Lamont and Tonelli have their very own movie reviewer. And wow. And it's pre-recorded. Oh, great. And there's production elements. So you going to hit any movies this weekend? Uh, thinking of it. Yep. You know, there's uh, know a few opening up. Hold on, Anthony. I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> Mr. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Kaholic. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Kaholic is calling. Believe. Mr. Mr. Kaholic. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay. How are you today? You know, I I just my God, I'm so bad with names. Even though you call a lot, <laughs> I I Mr. Kaholic, I need to know what's your first name, Mr. Kaholic. Sid. What? What? Mr. Sid. Sid Kaholic. And he doesn't understand <laughs> what the point of the bit is. The point of the bit. No, it's working out perfectly. Of course it is. <laughs> Everybody should call him Martin to now he's <coughs> lick me wall. So you hit any movies this weekend? Uh, thinking of it. Yeah. You know, there's uh, a few opening up. Weekend activity. Yeah. Boy, you're an active guy. Uh, mm -hmm. Opening uh, nationally this week, Case 39. You know that? Nope. Uh, Let Me In is another one. Nope. Uh, you never heard of these? No. And the social network. I've heard of that one. Okay. Isn't that uh, about uh, Facebook or something like that? Yeah, yeah. That, that's the one. Okay. And uh, luckily we have uh, Bubba reviewing these movies. Hey, it's Bill Clinton. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No, no. Uh, the, the greatest part about what just happened was Opie turned off the CD player thinking the bit was just starting when they said Bubba. But they snuck in, hey, it's Bill Clinton, right. and his face just sunk when they said, hey, it's Bill Clinton. Did you notice I tried to pull out my own eyes? Yeah, you went, oh, no. Even though I should have tried to pull out my ears. <laughs> oh, God. I actually went for my eyes. Yeah. It's just initial. You just want to inflict pain on yourself. That's all but it what is. I, enough. But what is really frustrating is that these guys don't even talk to each other. And then one guy doesn't even know that all no. the movies that are coming out. They're talking about movies just now. They weren't talking about anything right there. They, they just about... want to get to their bit again. What? No, they were talking about movies. Why don't they have a conversation about the bit. movies that are coming out and then get to the dumb bit? Because they would have to. They need to make time for the bit and the songs that they have to play. Oh. And then <laughs> <laughs> the oh. wormhole. And we go all and all. It never ends. Oh my, my God. Uh, hold on a minute. <laughs> Tonelli and Lamont. 
And then Fred Sanford called Lamont the big <laughs> dummy. And Lamont said, Daddy, you're wrong. Uh, hold Don't on. call me big dummy. When Aunt Esther came in, called Lamont her. welcomed her, but Fred did not. <laughs> called her a fish-eyed fool. Excuse me, but Mr. Balls is checking in. What? And when he checks in, we go right to him every time. Uh, Mr. Balls in Jersey? Hey, good morning, guys. What's going on? Hi, Mr. Balls. How are you today? I'm doing great. We're just rolling up the Jersey Turnpike, playing in the rain. Great. Uh, is this the Mr. Ball? Which Mr. Balls is this? What, what's your name, sir? Oh, come on. I call in all the time. You guys know. Jim. Jim Balls. Oh, Jim Balls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm so funny, I'm going to hit a goddamn brick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should. Oh, my God. Jim Balls. Hey, uh, He's Jim Balls. <laughs> Haywood in uh, Florida. Oh, Whoa. what do you got Haywood. today? Haywood. Haywood's great. Hey, uh, Haywood. One thing that's always uh, you call all the time, Haywood. We we love having you. But um, you know something? I I don't know your last name at all. It's a, it's a blow me. <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> would you? Would you? Haywood, you out. blow me. <laughs> Did he fuck up all the Another things? man that did not understand the bit. <laughs> Let's say hi to Sofa King in uh, New York. Sofa King. Hey, I hear you guys are looking for some furniture. I have some great deals. They're so fucking good. Boo. That's funny, though. Oh, you just said fuck. Uh-huh. <laughs> Comedy's hard. I'm all fucking. That's just fuck. <laughs> <smart. laughs> <laughs> His fucking shit is hard. Comedy's hard. <laughs> All day you've been thinking about this, you motherfucker. <laughs> and then he bombed. Uh, you know what? Uh, you're not going to believe this, but Mr. Manella is uh, checking in. Mr. Manella. Yes. How are you, you doing today? Why are you calling the show, Mr. Manella? Um, I'm a, I'm a big fan, uh, first time caller. I, oh, right, right. Well, uh, let, let us get to know you a little more. What, what about uh, your first name? Um,. Fred. Fred Manella. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fred Manella. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> this really is stupid. What? <laughs> but if you had a rock bed and a catchy name for it. I know. You got your first hour. <laughs> we can learn from these guys. Exactly. Yeah, we can. Maybe we can. We'll get a better contract next oh, time. Sure. Yeah. Pick up some with tips a, from these hats. This is the kind of off. Stuff. Uh, all right, well, let's get into the movie reviews with, you know, Bill Clinton. <laughs> One, and uh, luckily we have uh, Bubba reviewing these movies. Hey, it's Bill Clinton with this week's movie reviews. First up, Case 39. Renee Zellweger stars as a family social services worker who gets caught up in the demonic case of a mysterious troubled young girl. I give this movie a B plus. Man, I love me some troubled girls trapped in the foster care system. Starved for appreciation. They'll give it up every time. I know, I'm bad. Also playing... Let Me In. A lonely 12-year-old boy befriends the strange new girl who's moved into his building, only to discover that she's a vampire who lives in secrecy with her guardian. I give this a D. Vampire movies are like the cornflakes of a Hollywood grocery store. Enough already. And lastly, The Social Network. Jesse Eisenberg stars in the fictitious story of Mark Zuckerberg, whose billion-dollar idea became a revolution in communication. Great film. I give it an A. You know what I'd do if I became a billionaire? The same shenanigans I did last night, <laughs> except on a daily basis. <laughs> Go ahead. Check the Urban Dictionary for a drippy Clinton. Well, that's it for this week. Until next time, this is Bubba in the Balcony saving a seat for you. Right, girls? Hey, girls, let's play the social network. I'll be Facebook. Now let me get all up in your personal business. Time for some... The Mafia Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Dripping Clinton. <laughs> what, year, what, what year did this bit come out? That actually Is came that out in 2010. Uh, no, no, no. That, this had to be like September 30th. In the, in the 90s, right? September 30th, 2010. Was, you notice their fake laugh? They can't even really fake laugh. They're, they're not good at fake laugh. No, they're, they're having a tough time. They've fake had laugh. it. Definitely. They're just going through the they motions. Just, just give me a pile of bits. We'll force a conversation <laughs> and play some songs. 
We got oh. one more to play as we uh, start oh, off God. October with Thank Vermont God. Tonight. But one first, more. first, uh, let me see, uh, Mr. Mm. And 30 more days of October. Mr. Uh, Hyman in Delaware is checking in. Mr. Hyman. Good morning, Bubba Boys. Hi, Mr. Hyman. Where are you from? I'm from Delaware. From Delaware? Yes, sir. Oh, that's cool. The Delaware uh, Hymans. I, I, I know of uh, a few uh, families named Hyman. Um, what? Uh, who are who are you? What's what's your first name, sir? I am Edgar. Edgar Hyman. Yes, sir. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> hi, Edgar Hyman. <laughs> Pleasure. Nice to. You just want to say hi, Edgar. All right, there goes Edgar. Hyman. <laughs> Edgar Hyman, just saying hi. All right, one more, Anthony. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mr. Uh, Hunt. Mr. Hunt. Oh, Check it oh out. finally. Wow. Mr. Mr. Hunt. We love when Mr. Hunt calls. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, good morning, boys. I wanted to congratulate you on another two years of satellite radio. It's been a long time since I called, though. You probably don't remember me. Yeah. I, I, I do we remember you. We used to be you. on first name basis with you. I yeah. Don't, uh, it was never just Mr. Hunt. Yeah, can you refresh uh, our memory? Yeah, what's your name? You guys usually call me Steven. Stephen, Stephen Hunt, Hunt. Right. that's right. Okay, right. now yeah. it's all coming back. It to sure me. is, and uh, thank you for the congratulations. Yes, Stephen <laughs> Hunt. All right, Stephen Hunt. <laughs> uh, oh my god! <laughs> One guy just writes really angrily. <laughs> he better fucking say Buster. <laughs> <laughs> You can just feel the anger. That is the feedback. Bill is so mad that they're not saying the, uh, the right name. What are you talking about? They're very angry. Why? Steve Hunt just called. Steve Hunt called. They're angry. Uh, they didn't want Steve Hunt. <laughs> Edgar Hyman. Edgar Hyman? Who is he? <laughs> Let me say hi to Mr. Dickens in Pittsburgh. Mr. Dickens. Oh, oh, no. How you doing, boys? Pretty good, Mr. Dickens. Got a... Wow, Mr. Dickens. Um, Don't you own a farm or yeah. something? He's got a well, drink. I, I just I just wanted to invite the uh, the guys over. Anytime they're in Pittsburgh, they can come to my uh, my coffee shop for some, um, <laughs> some, some hot Dickens coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Dickens coffee? Dickens coffee. <laughs> oh, you know what? I haven't been to Pittsburgh in a while. I might that go down there for a nice. Penguins game and I'll get some coffee from Mr. Dickens. Some hot Someone Dickens else. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> We're expecting a joke, and it becomes a mundane conversation. <laughs> Don't ruin it. Dickens coffee. Hot Dickens yes, coffee. Yes, hot Dickens coffee. A big, I like mine black. <laughs> oh, no, stop. A big black Dickens coffee. Uh, a cup of hot wow. black Dickens coffee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the last uh, clip oh, from Lamont thank Finale. God, I, I honestly, you want to beat these guys up, but I, I just feel bad for them. <laughs> just... They probably had a talk show, and they are in just another show that had to be told to shut the fuck up. Yeah, you think they were ever edgy? I don't, I don't, I, I really don't know. Well, they seem to have horrible senses of humor, so <laughs> yeah. that probably didn't add to it. That didn't help. No. Uh, it's a do you favor Thursday. Yeah, that's a fa do you favor Thursday. Do you favor Thursday. Yeah, you do is you it, favor. Is it, they do a favor or do you like Thursday? Like, hey, do you favor Thursday over the other days? Or? No, it's like uh, doing you a favor, but said quickly. Do you favor. Do you favor Thursday. Like, I'm going to do you a favor. <laughs> I can't, I, 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 I can't. You can't do it. No, no, I'm, I... You finished. I'm so done. <laughs> this is what October's supposed to do. Yeah. Drain you of just your life force. Beat you into the ground. Yeah. Yes, just pound you <laughs> into the fucking pavement. That's what's going people, on. People are just typing cider as angrily as they can. <laughs> 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 no, it's Dickens and coffee. coffee. There's exclamation it's points. It's all hear. caps. Yeah. A big cup, too. Yeah. I big, like <laughs> hot. I like a little cream in my Dickens oh, coffee. Oh, no. <laughs> Calm down there, <laughs> you. Um, Dickens coffee. Uh, Mr. Uh, McCracken in New Hampshire. This is the what? second uh, McCracken we've wow. talked about today. It's the other Mr. McCracken. Yeah, it must be. Oh, this must be the what other one. Good morning, uh, sir. Hi. I guess your brother ca called earlier. Uh, which one is this? This is Douglas. 
<laughs> Douglas <laughs> McCracken. <laughs> Wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> the name my mama gave me. The name his mama gave him. Uh, that was great. I don't want to break down the wall too much, but the name almost makes sense. That's what I love about it, too. Douglas McCracken. <laughs> yeah, you have to say like, Douglas. If it was Doug, it would work. Kind of Kind of work. <laughs> Doug McCracken. But it's Douglas. Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> it's just wrong on every. It's just totally wrong. There's nothing funny about it. Nothing. <laughs> Oh, it's just frustrating. It's very frustrating to listen to this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let me let me uh, really fast because we haven't heard from him in a while. Uh, Mr. Uh, Freely is checking in. Hey, this is Irvin. How y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder what his middle initial is. About well, uh, Tom. What? <laughs> it Freely. <laughs> it yes, that's me. I just wanted to say... <laughs> Wait, your middle name starts with a T. T. <laughs> his first name starts with an I. Yeah. But his middle name is T. Is T. I.T. Freely. <laughs> Hi, I.T. Freely. <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's 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 go to... Uh, it's a Do Your Favor Thursday. Do Your Favor Thursday. And uh, you're not going to believe this, Ant. Why? This will lead to a uh, bit. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yes. Lamont <laughs> Patrice is, Patrice is just like, his eyes are closing. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. I don't know I'm what exhausted. I need right now. Like, I don't. I know. I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm not hungry, but I'm fucking fading away I fast. Need something. Shit. Shit. Chance to win those tickets coming up within the next 26 measly minutes. More chances to win. Every do your favorite Thursday. Uh, boy, I'll tell you, you know, in this economy, you got to really hand it to our uh, sales department. Mm-hmm. And I like the fact that we're giving a lot of uh, local businesses breaks. Sure. So um, here, here's a company that uh, if you've ever tried, and I, I know, Sully, I know that you, <laughs> and all of all people, have tried their products. Mm-hmm. You're a big proponent of this. Oh, sure. The, oh. uh, the man company. Oh, yeah. And their, uh, their uh, I believe, dairy products. Mm-hmm. Sully's been promoting these products for years. So uh, let's, uh, Sully, let's get a promo for them on. Okay? All right. Hi, I'm Steve Mann of Man Foods. You know, the products with our M-A-N-N label. Did you fill me in? I, I, I swear to God, I, I haven't been listening for the last 45 seconds. <laughs> oh. Well, it was a do your favor Thursday. Right. And then for no reason in particular, right. they decided to thank the sales staff for getting sponsors. Okay. And then they said, this is one of the commercials of one of the sponsors. Okay. Uh, Man's Food Company. And I noticed they made a point of saying it's M-A-N-N. Yes. Because, because something will probably come up. Where if it was M-A-N, it would probably be, uh, get them in trouble. Yeah, well, I'm just thinking. It's a product. Model, All okay? right. Hi, I'm Steve Mann of Man Foods. You know, the products with our M-A-N-N label. Heck, we spread man products all over the shelves of your local grocer. Uh, and you can trust that everything released from man is ready to consume. Because we would... This is a Dick and Snyder's bit. That's right. <laughs> oh, Dick and's a... coffee. Don't Dick get it right. right. Get it right. <laughs> is this a... Uh... A splooge bit? Yeah, it is. I, I mean, think it's splooging all over the they're fucking talking supermarket. About coming everywhere. Yeah, I, I wish you guys wouldn't have jumped to the punchline like that. Cause it oh. kind of, it's kind of a stretch, don't you think? Well, this Man thing goes on for a little while. So. I bet it does. So it's unfortunate that you guys already are at the yeah, end. I, I have oh. to apologize in advance, but he he, he gives us gives us such great phone calls. I just want to say uh, hi really quickly to Craven. Craven uh, oh. from Cleveland. We all know Craven. 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 Hi, Craven. How are you, buddy? It's been a while. How you everybody been, knows. man? Wow. You know something? Congratulations, guys. Oh, thank you. A lot of I, congratulations uh, coming in today. Craven, there's um, something I actually want to send you here. I have your address, but I, I don't have your last name. Yeah. Uh, wh- oh, what is sure. it? Yeah, you don't remember. It's Craven Morstead. Morstead. <laughs> Craven Morstead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. We'll be sending out those Opie and Anthony t-shirts yeah, right away. Yeah. To Craven Morstead. <laughs> Craven Morstead. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> Patrice is taking a walk. <laughs> Patrice has to just walk around because he's he's nodding he's, off. He's stretching. He's got to walk. <laughs> you want to take a you want to take a loop? Huh? You want to take a loop? I'm just gonna walk in the circle. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was so glad. Well, I haven't heard from Craven Morstead oh, in Morstead. so long. You can mail him that thing now. Yeah, I can mail him that thing that I have his last name. Do you guys know name. Mr. Gazina? Mr. Gazinia? Mr. Gazinia. Oh, Mr. Oh, Gazinia. Oh, it's Gazinia? Mr. Yeah. Gazinia. Oh, oh, yeah. I remember him. I, know I remember him. his first name, I think. I, I oh, think I remember, I remember this guy. Oh, but everybody does. Hey, Mr. 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 Gazinia. Morning, boys. How are you doing today? From Atlanta, Great. right? Great. Yes, from Atlanta. All right, I remember you. I'd yeah. Like to congratulate you on another two years of uh, wonderful satellite service. Thank, Thank you, you Mr. Gazinia. I, I I apologize. I'd like to uh, introduce you to the rest of the guys here, but I I did forget your first name, Mr. Gazinia. Sure, it's Albert. <laughs> <laughs> Albert Gazinia. <laughs> Yeah, All right. Albert. Well, well now uh, you can Albert, him. Uh, yeah, Danny's here, and <laughs> Sam, Travis, Patrice is asleep, and of course Opie's here, and me, yeah, Anthony. I just spit up Albert Gazinia. Albert. Uh, Jesus. Pleasure. Man. It's been a while. I punch it out. Bye. Bye, man. Bye. Oh, wow. Never seen more capital words in my life. I'm just <laughs> hey, <a> yeah. <laughs> yes. Albert. Albert. Trust that everything released from man is ready to consume, because we wouldn't put anything in our mouths if it didn't come from a man outlet. And right now, if you're looking for some of the best stuff to come out of man this week, try our man butter, our man cream, and even our man yogurt. Man products. When your body is asking for something good, nothing is more satisfying than having a man inside you. Also this week, check your produce section to find the freshest man juices, firmest man pickles, or your old favorite, Man Salty Nuts. Mm -mm. So you've had some man butter before? <laughs> yes. That's the black guy. He said yes. Aw, oh, damn. That's Sully. Yeah, yes. He's just laughing because it sounds like uh, jism. Does it? It's, it's such a stretch. Yeah, yeah. I really didn't get it. It was a little too subtle. Well, there was the firm pickles. There was the fresh juice. Right. There was the salty nuts. Yeah. It's like balls, testicles, and semen. Yeah. It was and, and I'm sorry, penis, testicles, and semen. That was a clobber you over the head <laughs> with a sledgehammer cum joke. Yes. Oh. That's a real radio uh, show. No, it's not. Yeah. Yep. That's one show. All that's pulled from one show. It's not the podcast section. It's not here's a list of the bits we've done in the last How month. How great would it be to just do that show? To just do that show. That'd just be down. So fucking you just got to, you know, Opie, uh, wow, you know, you, you see the traffic out there? Yeah, I have. Uh, a lot of cars and yep, stuff. Sure. Uh, and the rain, you know, I might rain. have to actually get a new car. Well, I don't know where to go. Maybe this dealership could help. Welcome to Clean Motors. <laughs> you want a clean Taurus? All right, and all day long. That's yeah. all you'd have to do. Just download bits from the internet. Oh, it'd be fantastic. Uh, the real Mr. Hunt, very pissed off oh, that someone shit. was uh, making believe that they were him. I thought that wasn't his real first. It didn't though. sound like yeah. him. We all know the real Mr. Hunt is from Ohio. Hi, Mr. I Hunt. Am. How I'm you doing? Photos because my name. Thank God. I just want to confirm that this is the real Mr. Hunt uh, by asking what your name is. It's Mr. Hunt. <laughs> yes, right. But what's your what's your first name, sir? Donnie. 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 Bonnie. Say Bonnie, but Bonnie, Bonnie would be a girl's name. Bonnie. Bonnie. We already Hunt. said you're Mr. He is a Hunt. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And it's that bit record. That yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. Just, we were having a good time with that. Uh, well, we could have at least done another ten minutes with that. Wish Mike would have called. <laughs> yeah, well, I bet everybody does. I know. It really <laughs> is annoying yeah. when Mike doesn't call. Yeah, we just said Edgar yeah. a whole bunch of people. Edgar <laughs> and, <laughs> it was Edgar. Edgar Hunt. Yeah, yeah. Gets in you. <laughs> yeah, see a great ending to that. Dickens Coffee. The real Mister Hunt gone. I don't want to give you my first name because you know. I don't want anyone bothering me. Yeah. 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 And we never get the first name. But he said Bonnie instead. Bonnie Hunt. There already is a Bonnie Hunt. I know. She has a show. I know. It wasn't her. I know. Hmm. All right, Sam, I think October's off to a great start. Oh, I, it's certainly I really do. The trees is asleep in the corner. I really do. <laughs> I really do. Yeah. 